Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Need a checkout page for your GoDaddy website? In this video we will show you how to create and customize a checkout page using GoDaddy website builder. Follow our steps to ensure a smooth checkout experience for your customers. So guys let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So obviously guys the first thing that you need to own is a GoDaddy website builder account or basically a uh, plan with them. So for those who doesn't own one you can get one for free which is a very very decent plan that they have already right now. So in case you were watching this video by the time it was updated or uploaded you will be able to actually get the website builder for a free toy for a small period of time. This period of time is basically very very small so it is basically three days but you can get the most out of it now also this is very important to actually try this free trial so you can actually have the most of experience uh, once you get the premium plan so before you get the premium plan before you use it and you feel like it's basically bad or trash you can go for the free trial use it try it have the potential of it if you feel like it satisfies what you were looking for then you can go with the premium plan now what about this uh, website builder first of all let me just go to my collection or my products since I have my website right here so let me just manage this go to websites from here and from this area I can create right now one for free make sure in the creation process that you are allowing the e-commerce settings which are sell with an online store and accept online bill payments or donation click on continue and let's make sure here it is basically e-commerce click on continue and let's give it a name so here let's name it for example this one continue and tell us a little bit about your business so we can give them here some chat or something like that uh, I'm just gonna click here continue and the website should be created within few seconds now after the website will be created we should add a product page or some products because it will not accept the e-commerce uh, things unless we add a product page so here is choose which page, which sections you would like to have in your website let me just delete the most out of them subscribe online store all right so we need at least these so only payments social links online store and privacy policy um yeah that's it so let's go and click on buttons here also and then continue to my sites or remove them continue to my site and then we will be ready to go so here if i were going to go around the website so here only payments pay now we have connects with us which has all the social media that we own and finally here it will have a section with our products since we don't have any products at the moment it will be empty and it will not show us the real page of our products so let's start by creating our store and adding our first product by adding it manually right through here click on it and let's start adding it now for the product i'm just going to add a random iphone 11, 15 like that to our page so let's go with that let's go with this one save image as uh, let's let it be here let me just add it through here I think I have one already if I'm not mistaken yeah I have an iPhone here let me just use this one so insert this one and now we have like an iPhone let me just write the name so I phone is it like that I don't know iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, the price or description doesn't really matter for us, so let's just uh, write here iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, 250 gigabytes, 8 of RAM, maybe just add something like that, and yeah something like so the price for example it is 600 but I'm gonna sell it for 555 and uh, product category let's add a new one let's name it Apple and save 
And just like that we have added a product so we can add extra details but we don't really care about that what we care about is the checkout so once we have added this one we have now our product page which means we have now the checkout page allowed so we just have to click on manage store right through here and we will have the checkout in the settings so let me just go here into the commerce and normally in payments I must find this I think in within payments so let me just go products orders got any payments yeah right here so this area will allow you to add a couple of things to your checkouts now we don't have any more checkout let me just go to settings and uh, there we go so let's click on checkout right through here and as you can see this is the checkout page now for the checkout configure the checkout fields option for your customer require shipping address phone numbers allow customers to include special instruction with their order as you can see you can hear a lot of special instructions if you have customizable uh, product that can be adjusted or something like that for example if you were selling or you had a restaurant here for example you are selling pizzas then you can leave your customers the opportunity or the option so they can for example remove couple of ingredients from the pizza itself this is some options that you can add depending on the business that you own let's click on save for now and as you can see checkout settings have been successfully updated now we have to add a couple of things a couple of settings like the payments method so here for the payments method on GoDaddy you will have uh, less options that other than other ones so you will have GoDaddy payments so this one is for GoDaddy payments. You will have get paid quickly and securely. Pay the industry lowest fees at 2.7% plus 30 cents per transaction. Future proof your business and easily add on GoDaddy point of sale. Accept all major credits and debit card plus Apple Pay, Google Pay and Pay's wallet. No hidden fees or lock and contract and get 24-7 support from GoDaddy. There is others such as accept PayPal, so you can accept PayPal from your customers at 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction and no monthly or setup fees. And finally, accept offline payments, so you can provide instructions to your customers on how to pay. And this will appear in the checkout and order confirmation emails. Accept payment, for example, outside of your online store, provide your own instructions for payments, or good also for paying in person for example cash on delivery so you can use those methods to actually have the ways or different ways to accept payments from your customers and the most used one in the e-commerce business which is the cod which is cash on delivery so if in case you were, go were going gonna do cash on delivery then you can go simply for accept offline payments so you can literally give them a message that this product will be shipped to you just make sure to pay the delivery guy this amount of money and you will be able to take the products from them and that's basically it this is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial